Hi everyone, I'm James Myers and I want to thank you for coming to my channel to watch my latest statistics video. Today I'm doing statistics from the Varian District Association of Realtors for the month of December 2022. Don't forget to subscribe when you're done watching the video. Before I get into the statistics, I want to tell you about a situation that I saw in the Barrie real estate market last month. There was a house that came on the market for $899,000. It was a nice looking house. It caught my eye. So I went and looked into the sales history for the house. It turns out that this house sold in February 2022, the peak of the market, not even a year ago, for over $1,130,000. It was listed at the new price, $899,000, for about a month, and then it has just sold for $830,000. So in less than a year, these people lost over $300,000 on their house. And I can tell by looking at the pictures that they had spent some money on the house as well. I have no idea why they sold it so soon after buying it, but guaranteed they must have had a pretty good reason for it. Now this is a very extreme example. They caught the market right at the highest point, February 2022. I don't care how much money you have, to lose $300,000 in a span of less than a year, that's got to hurt. Now for statistics. The average price for all residential properties sold within the city of Barrie was $708,000, and that's down 17.1% from 2021. The average price for Simcoe County, excluding the city of Barrie, was just under $838,000. That's down by only 4.5%. The Toronto average for all residential properties was just over $1,051,000. That's down by 9.2%. Sales volume in all those areas was way off by between 34 and 49%. In my last video, I commented that the average price of a detached property within Barrie had dropped to $768,000 after hovering around $800,000 for the previous three months. Well, it's back over $800,000 this month. $814,333 to be exact. My guess is it's probably going to settle in around the $800,000 mark, at least for the winter months. Sure, some months it may be over $800,000 and other months it might be under $800,000, but I don't think we're going to see any big price movements soon. Sales volume was way off by over 55%. There were only 40 detached houses sold in December. Condominium average price was down to $516,000 and there were only 13 condos sold in December. One thing to note with these statistics from December, they are less accurate because there's less volume. That's pretty basic math. More samples are going to give you a better result. You could analyze these numbers to death. Nitpicking every property that sold and comparing it to the month or the year before, or you could take the highest price sale out of a segment and lowest price sale out of a segment, because if you get a big sale or a really low sale, that can really affect the result when you have a lower number, to low, lower total number of sales, as opposed to a month where you have three times the sales volume. Really, what these statistics are telling us is that prices are down, Sales volume is way down. But that being said, prices are still higher than they were in December 2020. 